Cooking with Yvonne Douglas, we're going to learn how to do some piping and flooding icing on some sugar cookies. And the sugar cookies are going to be in the shape of this. This is a matryoshka nesting doll. Matryoshka nesting dolls can also be referred to as uh, babushka dolls. And um, they are made out of wood. And they're called nesting dolls because you can keep taking them off and they get smaller and smaller. And the Matryoshka nesting doll uh, is often associated with family and fertility. They are used to illustrate the unity of body, soul, mind, heart, and spirit. Uh, the first uh, set of Matryoshka nesting dolls were made in 1890 in Russia. And they can follow different themes from fairy tales really to anything. So we're going to learn how to pipe and flood some sugar cookies with icing, and then I'm going to decorate them to look like some matryoshka or babushka nesting dolls. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. So we're going to make our icing for our sugar cookies. Now, uh, your sugar cookies, I'm going to have a recipe posted, um, just the ingredients on how, what I used for my sugar cookies. And the forms that you're going to use, if you're going to make these matryoshka uh, nesting dolls, I actually got these on Amazon, and I'll be taking a picture of this so you can see it up close. But there's five of them, and those are the different sizes that I made to create my sugar cookies. All right. So um, let's make the icing first. And I'm gonna be using two cups of powdered sugar. And I have my KitchenAid mixer here with the paddle attachment. So there's one and two. I'm also going to be using two to three tablespoons of milk. Now you can do a royal icing with this. This is the icing that I like to use because I find it um, pretty easy to uh, pipe and to flood my cookies with. Plus it tastes really, really good. Um, I'm gonna be using some light corn syrup. So I'm gonna be using two teaspoons of light corn syrup. Now when you get your corn syrup, you probably want to get a spoon to make sure all of it gets out because otherwise you won't have an accurate measurement because a lot of it sticks to the uh, measuring stone. And I'm going to be using one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to put this <laughs> on top so my powdered sugar doesn't go flying everywhere. Start it off on low. I'm going to raise the speed a little bit. It's on high now. I'm going to check the consistency my icing and it looks pretty good it's a little on the thicker side so I'm just gonna add just a drop more of milk and then you can just basically play around with it for the consistency when you're doing the piping it needs to be a little bit stiffer than the flooding but um, I think this is pretty good this looks good now one thing I like to add to my icing is some white food coloring. So I'm going to be adding a couple of drops of white food coloring because I really want to get this white. I'm also going to be doing different batches of this icing because I'm going to be decorating my uh, matryoshka 
sugar cookie dolls, so stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. So I have my icing here, and I'm going to get a rubber spatula to take some of this icing off, the paddle attachment. And this is just the white. And what I'm gonna do is, this is something I like to do, which I find it very easy when I'm piping. First of all, you can use those um, disposable piping bags. I'm going to use um, these piping bags that are reusable. But what I like to do is I like to get my icing. And this is, this is a good consistency for piping. Uh, they say the consistency for piping should be like toothpaste. So you can see that this is sort of like toothpaste right there. That's really good for, um, for piping. When we want it to flood, we're gonna make it a little bit um, thinner. We're gonna thin it out just a little bit by adding just a little bit more milk. And um, that's gonna be used for the flooding. But this is, I would say this is like toothpaste, okay? So I'm gonna get a spoonful here and I'm going to place it in my uh, handy wrap. Let me move this so you can see. And so I'm basically going to kind of fold it like that. And I'm going to cut one side of it and place it in the bag. So before I place it in the bag, I want to add my tips. Now the tips that you can use, um, I have these, this tip kit here. So for my piping, I'm going to be using this really small tip here. And you can see the point. See how small that point is? All right. So I'm going to be using that for the piping. And um, so let me place this in my bag here. Now you can also use for piping, you can just use um, Ziploc bags really and just cut the tip and you can pipe it that way. That's really pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm, but I'm gonna be using these. So let me place this in here. So I'm going to cut this, place it in here in the bag, and then we're gonna pipe some cookies. Okay, so we're back, and I'm gonna show you how to pipe these uh, matryoshka, babushka cookies. So you can see the different size. These are sugar cookies, and if you can see that, they are perfectly cooked. I'm gonna, I use Silpat for that. Um, if, if you don't want yours to be dark at the bottom, um, then use Silpat, or you can use parchment paper but that is how you get the perfect cookie is by using that sill pad or parchment paper. Um, but let's, I'm gonna show you how to pipe this. Let me just push this to the side. And so you have your bag here. You're going to, you can use those Wilton ties. Um, I don't, I just kind of use this. And so what I'm gonna do is I have my cookie here. Let me see, I wanna make sure you can see it on camera. All right, so I have my icing in my bag and I'm going to start piping. Now you need a steady hand, so I'm going around the cookie. There you go, that is piping, that is called piping. I'm gonna do another one to show you. So you want to start, you're going to press and release, and you're just going to let it flow as you're pressing. There you go. There's another one. And I'm going to keep piping my set here. Now I'm telling you with that handy wrap or plastic wrap, that really helps um, not make a mess. So that's, I think, a good tip for you. And I have one more to go. Okay. So there I have my five done. Now, my 
design, I already kind of drew it out, is gonna look something like this. So, okay, so once again, I'm gonna pipe. I'm going to squeeze my piping bag and I'm going to gently go around. I'm gonna gently touch the surface and then I'm not even gonna touch the surface anymore and I'm just going around the cookie just like that and release just like that and I know it's white it's probably a little hard for you to see but I'm gonna do that with each cookie now the reason why we pipe cookies is so that when we flood it it kind of gives it that border and won't go off the cookie as long as your flooding stays within the piping that's why that piping needs to be a little bit thicker than that flooding. Once again, this is our design, so I'm gonna try to recreate that design on here. So I'm gonna do the face first. And then just follow that design. So it does help for you to create a design first or you can just play around with it and create it while you go. Okay, so you can see how my babushka cookies are looking so far. Can you see that? All right, so I'm gonna continue working on this and then we're gonna flood the, or show you how to do the flooding, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to flood a cookie. And what I'm gonna do, I'm still using my white, and I thinned out my icing just a little bit. And I'm going to flood the face first and the body. So I'm gonna be doing this. I'm just kind of going around, just like that. And then I'm gonna be doing the body. the scribe uh, tool. So if you have any bubbles or you need to kind of fill in some spots that you didn't get, you can use this scribe tool, okay? Now remember when you're doing your flooding, the icing needs to be thinner than your piping. You can move that around. You tap it a little bit and you can see how it's coming along. And I'm gonna be using uh, food coloring and paint brushes. These are some paint brushes for um, cookie decorating that I have. And I'm gonna be using that to decorate my cookie. But that is basically how you pipe and you flood a cookie. So once again, the piping, it needs to be a little stiffer uh, than the flooding, and then the flooding needs to be a little bit looser, and that's how you can move it around. So I'm gonna start decorating my cookies, and when we come back, they should be done, so stay tuned. I'm gonna show you really quickly some important tools that you're going to need for this cookie decorating uh, business here. So these are some paint brushes like I showed you before. These are for painting uh, cookies or cakes. So uh, you're gonna be using um, food coloring to, as the paint. And they come in different widths for different uh, painting techniques. But when you wanna do the really fine stuff, like for the eyes and stuff, you wanna get that really fine uh, paint point, paintbrush point right there. Um, another thing you'll need is a scriber. This is a scriber, looks like this. This is to take out some of those air bubbles that you might have in your icing, but it could also be used to apply maybe a little icing to in really delicate spots. And then of course, you'll need your cookie cutters. And these are the Matryoshka cookie cutters. They come like this, and you can see that just like a nesting doll, it has the different sizes, and this has a total of five. So those are some of the important tools that you're going to need for this uh, cookie decorating making project. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more time with flooding. 
So I have my cookies here. And I already piped the outside and I'm going to flood it. Now the consistency of the flooding, they say it could be sort of like uh, shampoo, the consistency of the way shampoo is. And for the piping, remember it's like toothpaste. So you can see when you're flooding, it's, um, it does that. So here, let me show you really up close. You can see that. See how that gets all filled in? And I'm gonna be filling in those other parts with colored uh, icing that I'm gonna be doing, but I'm doing this part first. So I'm doing the face, I'm doing the body, and that's why I'm using the white. Now on the body, I'm gonna be using my paintbrush to paint some flowers on the body. So that's why it's going to be white. Okay, so next what I did, I got these little uh, ramkins and I put some food coloring in them. This has red, I have green. I thought the green was a little too dark so I added some white to it and then I have black. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing my red little flowers first on the body. I'm just kind of following my design that I have over there. And um, I'm gonna do all my red little flowers first on the bodies. And then I'm going to add my green leaves. And the uh, icing pretty much hardens slightly. And so it's easy to paint on. And there's no specific way. I'm just following my design the best I can. I'm even changing it up just a little bit. It doesn't have to look exact. All right, so I finished my red. Now I'm going to do my green. And I'm just, once again, these are for my leaves. So I'm just making little marks, you know, to represent the leaves. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to do the faces and the shadowing up close. I'm dipping it in some black uh, food coloring and I just want to do some, I'm gonna do some eyebrows. Now this is a very thin brush. So for you to do the eyes, you want to make sure that it is thin. So hopefully you can see that. And I'm gonna continue. I'm not gonna do the mouth. The mouth I'm gonna do in red. I'm gonna say that for last. Um, I do want to do sort of like some hair. I'm still following my picture there. And like I said, your, you know, whatever drawing you come up with, it does not have to be exactly the same. Unless you want it to be. But this is just kind of giving me an idea. Um, I'm using my brush, I'm just outlining certain areas. Like for the kerchief, I'm outlining the, um, the kerchief here. And you can go all the way around. You don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want. Just do part of it like that. Um, I'm gonna do some shadowing down here. And around. See? See what I have so far? All right. And just to show you, because I do have a little red food coloring, um, I'm going to just show you that with the mouth, because as you can see, I have a whole bunch more to do. So I'm just going to get my red. And this is my one I used for my red brush. Okay. And I'm just going to dip it there. And just, you know, you can just have a, a little mouth there. <laughs> there you go. See that? And so I got one done. I'm going to do another one. And I uh, have, have all these to go. So when we come back, they should all be done. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're done with our Matryoshka cookies. And remember, those are those nesting dolls. So if you want to give this as a gift, 
You can purchase these uh, little boxes on Amazon. They come with a clear cover. I like those because you can see what's inside. And I just got some parchment paper here. I'm gonna fold my parchment paper to the width of the box. And I'm just gonna place it at the bottom. It will be sticking out slightly on the sides. And to go along with this old world theme, I got these paper doilies too. They look like that. And I'm gonna place those at the bottom. And then I'm gonna start filling my box with my cookies. So what I wanna do is, um, when you're decorating your cookies, some might look a little bit better than others, so I definitely want to put the really pretty ones on top and the ones that look okay at the bottom, all right? So I'm going to be putting that together in the box, and when we come back, I'm going to give it a taste test too, so stay tuned. Okay, so I have my box of cookies here, my matryoshka cookies or babushka cookies, and I have some really pretty ribbon here. I'm going to just tie a ribbon around my box. And like I said, you can give this as a gift. Um, the cookie cutters, Matryoshka cookie cutters, they come in a group of five, the ones that I have. So you could put this in cellophane bags and give them as gifts, uh, but, or you can put them all in a box like this and give it as a gift. And I'm gonna give my cookie a good taste test. Let's see here, I'm gonna take one from over here. Oh, this is such a pretty cookie, look how pretty. Mm. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. I'm going to leave my recipe for the sugar cookie down below. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and like this video. And until next time, happy cooking, bye-bye, or happy baking.